There you got my F3 Lycan Shepherd Ookla. He's uh, 10 weeks old. We're uh, working on his uh, preparation for his off leash work. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Start that out with a flexi lead, which gives him the illusion that he's off leash. And we just use them to uh, give them a little tug to get them to follow along, which is what we're teaching them to do right now at this age. I don't begin uh, formal leash training until their uh, uh, off-leash stuff is done. He's been doing really good. I'm very happy with how he's been doing so far. Preparation for that. Just give him a little tug to remind him to come along. Good boy. Give him some verbal praise. We just teach him the tip pack keeps moving. He can check things out, but he has to stay with me. And again, we're imprinting that for when he's off leash. A little quick tug. Good boy. A little verbal praise when he gets up by me. Come on. You don't let him bite on the line either. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. wants to check things out, he has to go in front of us to do it. Good boy. Curious how he was going to react to the vacuum. He did pretty well. Workman up here. Just use the clicks at first, and you see he's starting to respond to them there without a tug. And again, we imprinted that early on when we were teaching him the recall. That's one of the reasons we do that, because we then use that for this, and then for the off-leash work later on too. It all kind of ties together. Come on. Yeah, if he wants to check things out, he can, but he has to get up in front of us to do it. Good oh boy. Want to keep these sessions fun with him? Give him lots of praise and attention. Good oh boy. Yes, you are. He likes to give kisses. Yeah, you want to keep training fun with them. You want, uh, you want them to enjoy it, especially when they're puppies. dog starts getting stressed or you start scolding and a puppy they shut down in the learning steps you know you want to keep it fun for them you like to get them out like this too you know you get distractions you get the big lawnmower over there 
you know, you got workmen, cars, and by doing that with all this stuff present, you know, it, it teaches him to just kind of ignore them and move along. And that really helps, again, when you start doing the off-leash stuff, when you're dealing with distractions. At least that's what I found, you know. Lots of different ways to train dogs. This is just what I found works for me. I've tried lots of different methods. Been working with dogs for over 30 years. I was an animal warden for two decades. But you know what might work for me? Uh, you know, you might find work, something else works better for you. That and that's okay. Ultimately, you just want a dog that listens. Doesn't matter how you get there. Up, 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 up. Good boy. Good boy. in him is to just follow and stick along we're not worried about him healing or anything else again that'll all come later on and you know you ask uh, why do you do it this way I just find it's a better natural progression for the way I train but uh, you know again there's lots of different ways to do things Got his cute little floppy ear right now. <laughs> it's like a metronome keeping time with his beat. Use the clicks to get him to come and catch up a little bit if he starts lagging. There you go, Patty. Good boy. Good boy. Some privacy for a second. Good boy. What a cutie, huh? Hey, come on. Again, I thought people might be interested just to see how his progression's gone over the last few days of walking on leash. So, it's been uh, two days, I think, since the last time when I filmed his first walk. Got a big, loud water truck here. Let's see what he does. Come on. when you get up here he starts snowing the way home <laughs> well we're working on our way home uh, like subscribe and share hit the notification bell down below bye for myself mr. Ookla check out our merch store see ya thanks for watching check out our merch store down below